Hey guys, welcome to my little spot on the internet. Um, thanks again for checking it out. Um, again, I'm not paid, I'm not sponsored, no one gives me anything. Um, but after watching reviews, trying to find a decent tent, um, after having probably six or seven cheap tents, I decided to go with the Gazelle T4. Um, after watching the same reviews you've probably all seen, um, I like the way it opened quickly. Um, I like the size, the space. Again, I'm not sponsored. No one gives me anything. No one pays me anything. So this is my review of it. Um, I have to say, this tent is awesome. Um, the zipper's constructed well. Just the construction of it's over the top considering every other tent I've ever owned. Obviously, cheap tents are inexpensive tents not necessarily cheap um, this tent by far exceeds my expectations um, took it out this weekend probably the you know it is the first time I've ever taken it out I didn't even un I did the cardinal sin of camping and I didn't open this in my driveway or anything I just ran it you know I, I sent it and uh, showed up out there opened it up and I had it up within two minutes it honestly took longer to stake it down than it did opening the tent. Um, the stakes they give you, the, the stakes that tent companies or whatever provide you are junk. Um, you either have to buy some expensive ones from REI or Dix or any of these other companies, or what I do is I just make my own. I take a piece of rod, I bend some metal, I paint it up all nice, no one cares. These things were great, so I have a bunch of them laying around, so I use those. And honestly, 50 mile an hour winds um, is what we were dealing with this weekend out in the desert. Um, I did run one guy lie, line um, from the windy side down. Um, this thing didn't move, didn't flutter, nothing all weekend long. I mean, I've been. I've been in dome tents that are fairly aerodynamic and been sleeping at night and had the top of the tent fling over and smack me in the face. You know, incomparable winds. This thing did not budge, did not bat an eye. Um, solid, solid tent. Um, it held the heat in our tent very, very well. I may even need to go back and re-address my little buddy heater. Um, I didn't use it in this tent. Um, this weekend it only got down into the 40s but I mean it was hot enough where I had to peel my sleeping bag off because I was hot um, it definitely holds temperature and a lot better so I may need to go up to the mountains or something and review this thing in colder weather and run that little buddy heater and see if I can take back some of the things I said in my little buddy heater review um, about tent use um, but other than that I mean great heater um, great heat in them, not great heater, great heat in the tent, great construction set up in less than two minutes. I mean, it was amazing not to have to deal with poles or anything like that. To me, I mean, the hardest thing is putting the rain fly on. Um, it was probably the hardest part of this whole deal, which honestly is not that bad at all. Um, my only complaint is the packed up size. I mean, it's almost six feet, six feet long, um, so it makes packaging it in my situation in a pre-runner a little more difficult I made it happen I took it out there this will be the only tent I'll ever be using again unless something else comes up but for now this is my tent this is my go-to um, I will deal with the packaging issues just to have that there and the setup being so easy um, but I mean if you have a pickup truck or something like that or anything with like a, a roof rack I mean, it's no big deal, but I mean, if you're trying to put it in a small car or something like that, it can be an issue. It's almost six feet long. That's the only drawback I've seen so far. I've only used it once, but I mean, blows anything I've ever owned away um, before. So other than that, this weekend, I did run into a little issue um, with my old Jackery 300. Um, you've, hopefully you've seen my review on that. If not, um, go back and look at it, comment. Um, but I, there is an issue with the Jackery. So I want to get to that too in the same review. 
Hey guys, so this is the issue I found this weekend with my Jackery. Uh, this is the 300. I absolutely love this unit. Like, look at the size of it compared to my hand. Um, I power so much stuff off this thing. Um, again, with everything else, I'm not sponsored. I don't get paid by anyone. I wish they would. Jackery pay me. I, I, I could care less. I mean, I would care a lot. Like, pay me. Give me money. I would love that. Um, I use this product. I love this product. Um, so yeah, pay me. I'll say the same thing I'm saying now. But um, I bought this unit. I paired it with the old Solar Saga 60. Um, it was in my price range. Again, Jackery didn't give me any of this. They're not paying me for this. So I spent my money on it and. 300 and the 60 were in my price range um, then you can watch my other review on this thing um, to get all my other opinions but the issue I found on it um, we we're out in the desert this weekend obviously for an off-road race 85 degrees sunny windy definitely windy gusts of 50 miles an hour but unobstructed Sun and I was moving the solar panel following uh, the sun around and I was getting I mean shoot I was getting almost 50 watts out of this 60 um, which to me amazed me um, I was getting lots of watts on it um, we were running everything laptops phones uh, some LED lights at night um, an electric blanket at night but my issue was throughout the day my daughter was on her phone and on her laptop maybe pulling anywhere from 7 to 15 amps I would connect the solar panel and I would be get an input of 49 to 51 and it would charge up to 100 and then it would stop charging and then she would run it down and I mean I would catch it at 90 89 87 something like that and I would actually have to physically unplug the solar panel wait for the blue light to die and the display to go to sleep plug it back in you know 49 watts of power it would charge back up to 100 and then it would shut off um, I would really love it if this thing would stay at 100 if she's only using 7 to 12 watts and I'm getting 49 50 watts in it I would think that this thing would stay at 100% um, however it would reach 100 and then it would stop charging and then she would deplete it and I'd have to go through that whole cycle so I, I would have to keep on it finally at the end of the day I was tired of babysitting it um, I decided I let it go and it was towards the afternoon I plug it in and at, at that point it was only getting maybe uh, 25 watts of power the Sun was going down I was still able to charge it to 100% um, but it, it was just kind of a pain in my butt I, I really I would think if I'm only using you know a slight small percentage I'd be able to have the solar panel hooked up and keep it just topped off um, but that, that wasn't the case this weekend. So I don't know what's going on with it. I don't know if it was, if it's a normal thing or something's going on with this. So I'm going to contact Jackery and see if I can get an answer. Um, but that was kind of my biggest drawback on this thing this weekend. Um, it did run an electric blanket all night long. Um, God, I think we plugged it in. It was about 90% and woke up this morning at 51% so she ran an electric blanket um, my daughter for God God knows six seven hours and it only dropped a little bit I mean 40% 39% something like that so that to me was amazing and at the same time for a couple hours at night we were running some LED lights again charging phones and everything else it wasn't just the electric blanket uh, which we run in the 12, 12 volt outlet um, so still, I mean, I'm still happy with it. It's just kind of a pet peeve, um, that kind of bothered me this weekend. But other than that, I hope you like my reviews. Um, I hope you like these, um, kind of real world reviews of what I experienced with these products. If you have any other, if you want to see any other, my camping gear, um, I have a really cool little uh, Coleman lantern, single mantle lantern that I used this weekend that was amazing um, I have a bunch of LED lights and other things 
axes, hammers. Um, if you want to see stuff automotive related, camping related, uh, shoot me a comment. Let me know. Um, I'd be happy to show you uh, the rest of my stuff um, or anything automotive related or, you know, any of that stuff. So please like, comment, subscribe. If you don't, then don't. I mean, it is what it is. I'm not looking for fame off this. I'm just kind of giving you my thoughts and opinions on this stuff unpaid unsponsored you know it kind of it is what it is um so yeah again like comment subscribe um let me know what you think have a great day enjoy